So I'm out at Mount Adams, and the, the mountain is just amazing, it's spectacular. There's a giant glacier that is uh, basically coming straight down the mountain right at the, at the lake. Uh, and I believe you pronounce this place, the lake is Lake Taklak. And it is right, right at the foot of the mountain. It's, it's wonderful. Again, um, one of the things about living in the Northwest in the summertime, it's just a crystal blue sky. So there's probably zero chance of any kind of clouds or color, but the sun is gonna set. And as the sun sets, um, it's gonna be side lighting that mountain and the volcano, which is active, by the way. <laughs> so as the sun goes down, um, I hope, I'm hoping for just you know a nice side light, a nice golden hour, the tops of the trees to get you know side lit, that nice warm glow from the from the sun. And if the wind just stops just a little bit more, I could get a mirror reflection, which would be really, 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 really nice. Uh, so. Um, I'm looking for some composition, maybe a little bit of foreground interest. Obviously, um, if you, you can't go too far from where I'm at, because if you do, you, the mountain just kind of goes away. You can't see it. So we've got, I've got like an hour, hour and a half before uh, the sunset, but the light's just now starting to get good. So I'm going to start looking and see what I can find. So as I pan around the lake, you'll see that uh, it's, it's almost perfectly calm. There's some wind out uh, in the middle. But um, I'm at like the, the perfect spot. I can move just a little bit to the right or the left. But if I go too far, like if I get you know, over here, I'm going to be looking. Uh, there would just be no view of the mountain whatsoever. So this is more of a scouting trip than it is a... Uh, didn't plan a whole lot. I knew I wanted to come at sunset um, because of the way the mountains faces. And um, other than that, wasn't expecting a whole lot. And the views are spectacular. So there's the mountain right in between those trees. And the uh, you know the trail kind of goes around the lake but like i say i'm already losing some of the mountain and so going any further around is pointless uh there's just not going to be a view of the mountain so i'm gonna head back the way i came and uh just see what i can find the big thing that i'm scouting this location for is milky way photography nighttime photography possibly a sunrise or sunset but it's a, it's a long way to drive um, for sunrise unless you were camping and this is uh, there's nothing anywhere even remotely close we're pretty much in the middle of nowhere and it's gorgeous it's quiet it's beautiful but I'm really sure that I'll be able to come away with at least one nice photo today So I found a little something and I'm going to uh, uh, see how it comes out. I got the stump, I got a stump right here. It's pretty dark. And then I've got um, right on this side, there's another stump and some little shrubs. And then right in between that, I've got the mountain reflected in the water and then the mountain in the background. And I really don't want to get a lot of sky because the sky is not interesting at all. So my focus is going to be on eliminating as much blue sky as I can while making sure I don't cut any of the reflection of the mountain off. And you see how the, the stump is not intersecting with the green on the other side. I want to make sure that stump doesn't get, you know, doesn't start touching up here. I don't want that to happen either. Same thing on this side. So it's a balancing act to get all of those things just right um, so that the composition works better. So there's my, uh, my first shot, and I'm probably gonna crop a little bit. I don't ever want, like I've said before, you never want to crop so much in camera that you can't do anything to it after the fact. So you always wanna leave yourself some room um, to crop so you can do some different things with it. So I've got a little bit more blue sky than I might want. I got a little bit more foreground than I might want. 
but I can always crop, but I can never add it back. Um, and again, I'm at like ISO 50, F16 for depth of field. And I'm whatever the shutter speed is, is what it is. I'm on a tripod and uh, there's no wind or anything else to deal with. And I'm going to have to bring up these shadows and uh, quite a bit in post, but I think that maybe I can do it in one shot, but I did bracket it in case I have to blend two different um, exposures. But I'm trying not to make those exposures very far apart at all. I don't want it to be this huge disparity between the mountain and the foreground. So uh, it's not going to be a lot that I'm going to bracket. I'm not going to bracket by like two stops or something crazy like that. It'll probably be like a maybe a stop, a stop, and a third, uh, just, just so I don't lose detail in that stump because it's from some really pretty wood. And right now, I don't know if you'll be able to see it on the video, but the sun is starting to just slightly light up the stump right here on the side as the sun is setting. So I need to grab a shot with that light hitting that stump because that's going to help make the photo. So the last shot of the day and it's sunset, the sun is already set. The mountain is really nice and pink. And the shot, here it is, let me pull it up again. Sorry about that. There we go. So fifth of a second, F16, ISO 100. Uh, the reflection perfectly centered in the middle. And that's about the only time you would want to put that horizon right in the middle of the frame is when you're doing a reflection like this. And it's still not quite 100% still, but it's pretty close. Uh, and the colors are really, really, really pretty. So I will totally take it and i um, going to pack it up. And I'll show you one last view of what it looks like. Now, I didn't use the photograph that I talked about with the stump on the left and that shrub on the right with the mountain kind of centered. The light was just not good. I didn't like the um, I didn't like the color on the mountain at all. So I just waited and as the sun set, the light just got so much softer and better and it was side lighting the mountain and the trees in the background. And it just made for a much prettier photograph, especially since the skies were just so incredibly blue. I also took a photograph that basically just zoomed in and put the trees front and center with the mountain in the back. And I really like the way that the trees were reflected uh, in the water on the far side of the lake. And again, the light was just gorgeous on the mountain. And the last shot that I wanted to share with you was the one that I ended the video with, and that is of the mountain perfectly reflected into the lake. And again, the light was very, very soft. It was beautiful side lighting that mountain. And there's a little pink glow on both shoulders as the sun was setting. And I think it's just, even without the clouds, I think it's just beautiful. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe so you don't miss any of my new videos.